Oh man, it's Wednesday and you know what that means. Okay, it's happening. Everybody stay calm. What's going on guys? And welcome back to Modern Warfare 3 Season 2. So I actually had a completely different video planned, but today they actually released a new set of weekly challenges. And you guys will see right here, if you complete any of the five challenges from week two, you will unlock the Jack Lim Ripper. And yes, this is a brand new chainsaw attachment. So man, I just wanted to wish you guys a happy Valentine's Day. Just wanted to show my love for you guys. Thank you so much for always supporting the videos, supporting the content. And hey, if you guys can go down below and uh, show some love on that like button, I would really appreciate it. All right, guys, first things first, we need to get... There we go. Kills with the knife. Literally, yeah, th there we go. That was actually so easy. Basically, it was get three kills in a row three times in three different lives. All right, now we also need to get kills with the throwing knife. Let it go. I believe it's 15 kills with throwing knives. And I also have the ninja vest on to help. Basically, the ninja vest will make it so our footsteps are silent. Let me know in the comment section, though, how you guys are enjoying season two. I feel like season two has been probably my favorite season so far. I know we've only had literally two seasons in MW3. But in my opinion, season two is much better than season one in terms of just like the operators and just like the content. I'm also a huge fan of the maps as well. Stash House has been such an amazing addition. There we go. Okay, throwing knife kills on this map is super, super easy. There's definitely someone right here. There's someone right there. Oh my God, am I TKO? Am I these knives only? I love these weekly challenges though, man. It's just something to look forward to every single Wednesday. And I love not knowing what the next aftermarket part they're gonna release. It's so nice to kind of just get on every single Wednesday and be like, wow, there's gonna be a new attachment, a new aftermarket part that we can all unlock and use. And I'm just so curious to see if the chainsaw is gonna be like overpowered or it's just gonna be, I don't know. Oh wait, there we go, there's the challenge. Okay, so next challenge is we need to get 30 kills with an alternate ammo type. Right now I have the high grain rounds and I really hope that's what they mean. Oh, okay. Should be able to get a lot of these challenges done though because we're playing Stash House. So literally 30 kills with the high grain rounds and I think, I think we're good to go. Slide through here, slide through here, thank you. Okay. I thought, hey, might as well just use the BP-50 considering it's one of the newest guns and it's actually very, very good. Also have an underbarrel shotgun on this class as well because we're gonna have to use it for another challenge uh, to unlock the chainsaw. I'm so mad because I joined in this game late, but like we're doing so well. Thank you. I literally just spawned right on the guys that just killed me. I feel so bad, but honestly, I don't. Nice. Nice. Why does that guy have to have a riot shield on? Hey, there we go, 30 kills. Okay, so now I think we need to get kills with this under barrel attachment. This might be kind of annoying, I'm not even gonna lie, but I chose the shotgun because it could do that. I don't know how many kills we actually need, but I feel like this will be pretty easy. I completely didn't know you could actually aim down sights with this attachment. Thank you, there's one. Thank you. Nope, can't get him. Oh my, okay. Oh, got it, let's go. Okay, perfect. I didn't even realize, but throughout that whole entire game, we were also working towards the final challenge, which is get 10 point blank kills. We literally need one more and then we unlock the new chainsaw. Alrighty, guys, literally one more point blank kill and we're good. That, I think that was it. <laughs> I will say there has been moments where we will do all the weekly challenges to unlock a new aftermarket part and it doesn't work. But it says Jack Lim Ripper attachment collected. Now we're gonna try and put it on a weapon. Okay, under barrel Jack Lim Ripper. I, I think we're good. Can we? Yes, we can put it on. Okay. There's no way we have a legit chainsaw attached to our gun. All right, well, I'm gonna search for a match and let's test this thing out. Hey guys, so we have the new chainsaw. I'm not gonna lie. This is really, really interesting. I can't imagine it's like actually that like... Okay. Wait, so you literally have to like... <laughs> this is so stupid. So you actually have to be like on the enemy like... 
like on top of them. This doesn't seem real. Like when you're using it, it like, wait, <laughs> what, what? Get back here. Yeah. <laughs> I don't think it's actually like one of those things where it's overpowered. It's actually really viable, but it's just one of those little things where you can just throw on and just have fun. That's what I love about MW3 because I feel like they're adding things in this game to actually just make it so you can have fun and just use whatever, even though this thing's terrible. You can actually just throw on some things, have fun and not take the game so seriously. I feel like everyone is just trying to like, I don't know, find the best class or the best the best weapon, but this thing is stupid. The radius of this chainsaw is not really good at all. You need to be actually on top of the person, and it, I feel like the radius, like the hit range, is just so off about it. You have to hold down the trigger to, like, keep it going, all right? I'm just gonna literally hold the trigger and see how long you can use it for. Is it unlimited? I think it is unlimited time. So there's no ammunition. There's no time limit. You can actually hold down the trigger forever. <laughs> there's no actual way though for someone to like do well with this gun. Like, I don't know. I just feel like you can't really go into a game expecting to drop a ton of kills or go on a crazy streak. It's just gonna be one of those things where you can maybe take it to SND just have fun and and just keep killing people with a chainsaw what i mean the time to kill is hella quick obviously thank you oh there, thank you thank you no no i think my highest kill streak was like the first one i went on i think it was like eight kills i i don't expect to drop a nuke or anything with this attachment that's so stupid. What? It's weird because this thing actually has like slight aim assist. I know it, it seems weird to say, but I feel the aim assist actually working with this attachment. I got a hit marker. Can you? How many times are you, are you gonna go around in a circle? Like, come on. Hey guys, so we're playing some shipment. I'm going to try my hardest to actually get a few kills with the chainsaw, this is gonna be really difficult. Especially on shipment, this is just gonna be an absolute train wreck. Stop, D don't give me that hit marker. I'm gonna try and drop a nuke and also get a few kills with the chainsaw. Um, This is gonna be a train wreck. Thank you. I'm just gonna try and like switch back and forth. That might be a play. Okay, teammate, that's you. Try to get some good picks. But if, they're, if the spawns are gonna be like that, that guy literally spawned right next to me and absolutely screwed me. I hate it. Okay. All right. If we can maybe just get this, this helo, we're chilling, I think. Come on. We're one kill away. If we can get this helo, maybe if we, if we get the advance, I think we're fine. Oh my god. I have the chainsaw out just in case someone like appears in front of me. But we need we need an advance like right now, dude. I'm one kill away from the advance. I'm gonna push up. I'm gonna push up. Got the advance. Okay. Okay, now we can maybe pull up the chainsaw. Now we can maybe pull up the chainsaw. There's someone in here. Oh, teammate, you stole my kill. Teammate, you stole my kill. I'm dead. I'm dead. Oh my god. EMP. EMP. That's gonna help out a ton. Oh my gosh. No. No. Okay, I'm tr guys, I'm trying. I'm literally guys, I'm literally trying to get kills with this thing. But it is so unbelievably bad. This guy's literally right here. There's another dude. There's another dude. Come on. I'm dead. Oh my god. There's so many people. I'm dead. Dude. Oh my god. I know I'm on a streak. Guys, I'm trying. Come on. But you literally can't get that many kills with the chainsaw. Like, you can, but you can't? 
<laughs> I want to get the last kill with the chainsaw, but that might be like the worst thing possible. We're on a 23. Listen, I'll try and get the last kill with the chainsaw. How about that? That that might be the worst thing I could possibly do, but I'm going to try for you guys. I'm dead. I'm on a 25, dude. Are we okay? Can I push up? Oh my god, I must have choked. No, 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 no. That spawn is stupid. Okay. This thing is so bad. <laughs> there is no way. Dude, I am telling you guys. This thing is so bad. <laughs> I can't even say that was like a, a, a nuke with the chainsaw. You know what I'm saying? Like, I, I physically can't say that. Although, I tried my best. It just, it, it doesn't have a lot of reach, like a lot of range, obviously. But also, it takes a second to actually charge up. And then by the time you actually charge up, you, you can't kill someone. Maybe I'm not using it right. I don't know. But I don't know how else to use it. <laughs> like, I don't know how else to use it. I almost wish this thing had a little bit of lunge. You know what I'm saying? Like, it just, it really doesn't have any lunge. Well, all right, I, I might as well just call this in. Well, ladies and gentlemen, that is the chainsaw in Modern Warfare 3. If you guys made it to this point in the video, comment love for Valentine's Day, all right? But anyways, guys, that is the Jack Lim Ripper, the new chainsaw in Modern Warfare 3. Yeah, this attachment, it's, it's cool, it's unique, but is it actually good? Uh, hell no. I will say though, you can actually make some really cool like camo combinations. And a lot of the times, if you put on certain camos, it will actually cover the chainsaw itself. So you can put like priceless camo, even interstellar. I personally think golden enigma looks the best because you have that like gold chainsaw. But yeah, a lot of these camos look very, very cool and unique with the chainsaw. Anyways guys, thank you so much for watching. Hope you guys have a great Valentine's day and I'll see you next time.